Hello, it's Jonathan from Kickstart Commerce, and today I'm going to record a tutorial about Google AdWords conversion codes. Now, this is an area that um, can be a bit fiddly, and a lot of people don't really know where to start with it. Um, so let's let's just launch straight into it. Here, I'm actually in a an AdWords account, and what you'll find is that if you go to Tools and Settings and then Conversions, you can actually set up a conversion code in here for purchases, for example. So what you would do is say new conversion action. You would say it's for a website purchase. This tool here scans to see whether you've already got a conversion code uh, set up in your website. So you just have to pass through that. Um, so we actually do already have one set up, so it might just tell us that we've already got something. Let's have a look. Okay, well, it's allowing us through anyway. So what I would do here, you can actually set up um, an automatic tracking for events. I, I've never had massive success with that, so I tend to do it manually. So you would basically say, add a conversion action manually. You'd say it's a purchase. Um, I would say use different values for each conversion because that way we can actually get a value coming through on the order that has converted. And then you can actually put in a default value um, in case um, it doesn't pick that up. So you'll have to look at your own web store to see what that would be. And then here I say count every sale because even if one customer makes two orders that you know they have made two orders. And then I would leave these settings the same to begin with and then you click on done so if we do that um, you then do save and continue and then it will actually tell you what the code is that you need to put into your site now there's two parts to this um, there's the Google tag here and then there's the actual event snippet which is telling it purchase details. So there are various ways you can do this in BigCommerce. The traditional way is to go into um, Storefront and Script Manager and create a script here, call it Google Tag, and then probably put it in the header. I would put it on all pages and then I might even call it essential, although strictly speaking, it should be probably analytics. The difference between these is that analytics can be blocked if someone doesn't accept cookies on your website and it's got that turned on. But anyway, so you could make it essential. That's up to you. And then the script would actually go into here. So you'd copy it from here and paste it into here. Now that works most of the time and that's just for the Google tag part, not for the event snippet. But what I would do just to test this to begin with is not create this script. I would just go into the settings, go to data solutions and within data solutions, go into the affiliate conversion tracking. Now, you might have to click on connect if you haven't previously connected it. I have already connected it, so I can click on here and edit it. And then what you'll see in here is that this is the Google tag, and then this is the event snippet here. So to test it, first of all, I would put the Google tag into here. So that's this first part here. And then if you want to see the event snippet, you would basically copy that or click copy there and you would paste that into a script in the second part of here. So, so that's basically what they're telling you here is to paste in here, but there is a, a slight modification and that is where they've said value equals and they've put the default value in of 20 pounds, we're going to actually put percentage, percentage, order, underscore amount, percentage, percentage, and that picks up the order amount from the big commerce order. Currency is already correct, um, and it depends on your currency. Obviously, it might be USD or EUR, etc. And then transaction ID, again, they've put just a double quote with nothing in it, but we want to actually put the order ID from big commerce in here, 
And what we do is we do percent percent order underscore ID, uh, but we also put in a quote mark, a single quote around it. So there's two single quotes there around it. So that's important. You don't do that on the amount uh, because that's a number, but you do do it on the order, order ID, which even though it might be a number, is actually more plain text because it can have uh, letters in it as well. So that's basically what you need to do. Now, the other thing I would do is install the um, Google Tag Assistant. Now, this is a legacy tool, meaning it's going to be uh, discontinued at some point and it will be replaced with, with something else. And in fact, you can go and learn more and see what they're planning to, return, uh, to replace it with. But I would go to the web store for um, Chrome, Google Chrome. And if you go into there, so obviously this is in the Chrome browser, there's probably equivalents for other browsers. Um, but if you type in here, tag assistant, you will find it and you can add it. And then you can actually go and pin it to the top and then you'll have it available. And then what happens is if you go to, so we have a website here that actually um, has um, the code installed in it now, now that we've actually put it in here. What you can do is you can enable this assistant. So basically you load it like that, click enable, and then you refresh the page. And then it will tell you what's actually running in this page. So, so far we have Google Analytics running on this page. If you go to another page, then it will tell you what's running on that page. Now, so far again, it's just Google Analytics. But since we actually put this code in here and we've clicked on save, then we have actually got the conversion code running in there. And then to test it, basically we put through a live order. Now, I'm sure you know how to put through a test order for zero pounds or using a dummy credit card, etc. Um, but I, I like to actually put it through as a real order um, just because that also gives me an opportunity to test that the payment gateway is actually working. So, OK, I'm going to buy this cheap product here. Um, £1.10. So what I'll do is I'll just put my email address in here. I'll blur out the bits that I don't want to publicize. So... Put a number in there. Let's put a, an address. Okay, and then we'll have to pay some delivery for this. Okay, I'm going to put in here test order. Please do not send. Okay. And then we get to the payment. So I'll put the I'll put a live transaction through here. So let's just quickly do this. I'll blur this. Okay. Now, so the main thing is at this point, before you place the order, is to make sure this is running. So we can see that this is running. If it needed to be enabled, you should enable it before you press place the order, really. So this is running. So let's place the order. So as it's a live order, it takes a few seconds to run. And then what we can do is have a look now at what's showing through. And we'll see that our conversion tracking code is showing up in here now, which is great. So the global site tag is that first part that we looked at, which is this bit. And then the, um, let's go back to that confirmation page. And then the uh, ads conversion tracking is the event snippet that we put in there. And in fact, just to check that this is actually working, you can see from the order here, this was the order total, £2.66, and the item was £1.10. And if you actually look in here, you should find that information in here. So you can see here the um, well, it's same conversion value, £2.22. So it's basically taking the tax off. It, it, it doesn't really matter, to be absolutely honest. It's roughly what the order is, so that it just helps to know whether this is a good conversion value per cost of click and things like that. So it's just, it, it, as long as this is roughly the right um, figure, then that's good. It's got the right currency and it's got the order ID. What is it? 101295. 
Not sure that it has actually picked up the order ID there. Um, so that's interesting. That might be worth experimenting with those quotes again. Um, it may be that since I changed this, um, this actually works better without that. So let's do that. So next time when we run this, we'll see whether that works. But basically, I think you can see the principle of how this works. And this proves that the conversion uh, tracking is working. And as far as I'm concerned, the main thing that it's passing through is the value of the order. And I think that's uh, good. So that will then help you in your Google campaigns to know which campaigns are actually profitable and which are not. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions um, or comments, please uh, do uh, comment below. And uh, if you've got any suggestions for other tutorials, then uh, again, put them in the comments and we'll have a look at them, see if there's any that we can uh, actually do for you. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Bye for now.